Hello, dear viewers. How are you? Now today we are doing the binomial expansion and identities. Have you seen my previous video, the Pascal triangle and the binomial expansion? There I have discussed that how to write what is the formula for a plus b whole square. There I have shown if it is a binomial triangle, one plus one two. So the coefficients are getting here one two one. And when you write a plus b whole square, first you start from the highest power that is two. So a two, and then the plus. Now. There is a coefficient 2, so write 2 here and then the reduce the power of a by a. Then you start the b, the b is 0 here, b is 1 and b is 2. So you are getting a square plus 2a plus b square and this is called identity. Why this is called identity? Because whatever the value of a and b you take for every value, if you do the left hand side and right hand side separately, you will get the same value. Suppose a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2. So when you put up here, so what is the LHS? LHS is 1 plus 2 square. 1 plus 2 is 3, so 3 square, and that is becomes 9. But if you do the right hand side, RHS, here it contains three terms, a square, 2ab, and b square. When the expansion of 2, we'll get three terms. I told that a plus b whole square not equal to a square plus b square only. The number of terms will be one more than the index. So, the number of terms must be three. If you do the expansion of a plus b whole to the power three, it must contains four terms. So, now come to the Previous discussion that if you put a is equals to 1, this becomes 1 square, and then 2 into a is 1, and b is 2, and then b square that is 2 square. So finally, you are getting 1 plus 4 plus 4, so add up 9. Now, this are same. Similarly, if you put a is equal to 0, b is equal to 5. LHS, a plus b whole square, 0 plus 5 whole square is equal to 25. And RHS, a square plus 2ab plus b square, so 0 plus 0 plus 5 square is 25. So, we are getting same result. So, that is why it is called identity. Identity true for any real number of A and B. Now, we will do the expansion of if it is 2x plus 3y whole square. We have learned that A plus B whole square is equals to A square plus 2ab plus b square. So, here a is equals to 2x and b is equals to 3y. So, first is a square. Always put a bracket and then you write 2x whole square. Don't write 2x square, this is a 
common mistake always write 2x whole square and then here 2 then again the value of a you have to put up here it is a is equals to 2x so write 2x and then b here b is 3y so write 3y then plus b square so 3y whole square so this becomes 2 square means 2 into 2 is equals to 4 so 4 and then x square then 2 2 3 so 2 into 2 into 3 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 so write 12 here and then x and then y so it becomes x y the last term is 3 square 3 square is 3 into 3 is 9 so 9 then y square so the expansion of 2x plus 3y whole square equals to 4x square plus 12xy plus 9y square similarly if you do the expansion of x minus 5 so we are taking a minus sign here same apply here we'll take a is equals to x and b is equals to minus 5 y so first term is a square so we'll write x square then there is a plus then there is a 2 so we'll write 2 here and a a is equals to x so we'll write x here then b b is equals to minus 5y so we'll write minus 5y as there is a minus sign always put first bracket close it so that you can observe that there is a minus here and then plus b square so again minus 5y whole square finally x square and then there is a 2 and there is a minus 5 so 2 into minus 5 and you know this becomes minus 10 so we write minus 10 and then x and y so it becomes x y and then minus 5 whole square so minus 5 whole square is equals to minus 5 into minus 5 so minus into minus is plus 5 into 5 25 so here it is 25 and then y square now you go into the expansion of minus again here the value of a is half x and b is one third y First half x whole square and there is plus 2, write 2, then a, a is half x, so write half x, and then b, b is minus one third y, so write minus one third y, and then plus, then b square minus one third y whole square so half square so half square half into half so it becomes so one by four so one by four x square now you can cancel this two and this two 
So there is a minus plus minus. So we write minus first. Only one third. So put one third. Then x y. Now there is a minus one third y into minus one third y. So minus minus plus one third into one third is one by nine y square. So if you practice in this way, I think there will be no mistake. Okay. Thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos. Log on to www.tubelessons.net.